All right, and welcome back to Bayou Time. I'm Martin Falls, and joining us now from the Thibodeau Police Department is Lieutenant Clint Dempster. There you see him on the screen. Also, the public information officer for that department. And Lieutenant, good to see you, sir. Same here, Martin. Glad, glad, glad to have you. All right. Well, let, let's talk about y'all have been chasing uh, this suspect around for quite some time. It resulted in an arrest, and I'll give you the floor if you could tell us what took place. Yeah, so uh, a little over 10 months ago, uh, January the 8th uh, of this year, we, we uh, had a homicide, uh, claimed the life of Roderick Johnson. Um, uh, days after that arrest, we, um, we, we named a couple suspects, uh, Carl Shelvin, uh, with a black male, 28 years of, old, of age. He was arrested uh, shortly thereafter on January 12th. Um, and related to the to the incident, and uh, Caviante Ross was the second suspect named. Um, and again, after after ten months on the run, we we finally captured him uh, on Friday evening uh, with assistance from Terrible. What did y'all find out? You know, ten months, of course. Uh, they they find a good hiding place. We've seen longer than that, but and normally when it comes to fruition, somebody had to enable that person. Uh, to be in hiding. What did y'all find through your investigation? Yeah, so our uh, criminal investigations division worked very closely with Terrebonne. Um, as far as for the specifics, what, which led them to it, I, I know they've been kind of working um, around, you know, tirelessly uh, on this investigation just to, to, you know, close it out so the family could have some kind of closure. Uh, again, like I said, it's over 10 months on the run. Um, Mr. Ross is from the uh, Homa area. So um, I, I think uh, we always knew he had ties there and, and could have been hiding out there. Um, but, no, they definitely had a, a break in the case, um, which allowed them to, to pursue it um, there on Friday. Um, they was actually able to link up with uh, the Terrebonne Sheriff's Office. And uh, I know the Terrebonne Sheriff's Office SWAT team was involved in apprehension. Um, and, again, he was apprehended without incident at a residence um, where he, you know, apparently had been hiding out at for quite some time. Can you bring us back to the maybe the motive of the the murder way back when? Uh, do we have any more information on that? Um, I don't have that information with me. Um, I, I spoke to detectives briefly. Uh, they actually, you know, been been uh, tied up on some other cases. Uh, what what I released in uh, the the press release on Friday was pretty much the extent of information that I had. Um, you know that he that he's been on the run. I think uh, just to protect. Uh, at least until this goes to trial and whatnot, uh, I think they're trying to protect the integrity of the investigation as much as they can as far as the motives and things of that sort. Uh, we were actually obviously able to release the, net, the names and uh, location and things of that such. Yeah, totally understood. Maybe we could talk a little bit about with our remaining three minutes. Uh, you know, we, we hear about the gunshots going off and it stops a football game at, at Thibodeau High and seems like in the neighborhood and I was talking to the chief actually yesterday and a lot of times when they fire in the neighborhoods it echoes across other neighborhoods so you get all kind of different reports going on I guess y'all deal with that a lot but I guess the, the part of the question that I'm more concerned about is that y'all are dealing with a lot more especially in Thibodeau and Homa with gunfire especially in the hands guns in the hands of younger uh, persons, I, I guess that's quite concerning to you all. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely unfortunate. Um, it's it's something that you've seen. You know, uh, the numbers climb over the years, especially in, the, in like you said, the, the juvenile um, juvenile uh, ages. It's 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 kind of a shame, you know. Uh, but we do what we can. Of course, you know, you, we do respond to a lot of shots fired. And, and again, this time of year, as we get into the holidays, it's hard to decipher sometimes the difference between a firework and uh, a gunshot. Um, unfortunately for uh, for us, it is illegal to, to pop fireworks inside the city of limits of Thibodeau, um, but that doesn't mean they don't do it. So um, a lot of times, you know, we're responding to uh, gunfire. It could be fireworks or it could be gunfire that they heard in a certain area. Uh, as you know, we board a Terrebonne and, of course, Lafourche jurisdiction. And a lot of times we'll respond, and it's actually something that occurred in Terrebonne Parish. So we get that a lot, um, and it is hard to decipher. But, you know, just to go back to the juvenile stuff, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's disheartening, you know, to, to, 
to realize that some of these young people, uh, you know, turn to gun violence. Uh, it, it never used to be as as bad as it is now, but it just seems like that's the growing thing. And it's a shame that, you know, we even have to deal with this at high school football games. Yeah, no doubt. You know, it's just so disruptive, I guess. And it's disruptive. And I know y'all hate to see it as a police force. Are y'all still looking and using that, I guess, program that I, I guess assigns hot spots to certain areas? And I know y'all track with a lot of the crime by the hot spots. Is that still in play? Yeah. So a long time ago, it was called DDAX. Um, we used to do that uh, since Chief Zarang took over. That was that was under the former Chief Scott Severi. We did DDAX. But we do do something similar um, under, under this administration um, where you target, you know, the hot areas. And, um, we, of course, we, we, we do what you can, uh, as much as you can. Um, most of the officers here, I mean, we, we try to follow uh, where where our crimes are uh, mostly being occurred and try to hit those areas hard. Uh, Chief does a good job as far as, for, you know, assigning extra personnel for certain holidays, certain events. Um, and just different times of the year, we try to, you know, put, put our little, uh, you know, kind of like a, a little jump out team, uh, pop squad. Uh, just extra personnel hitting the streets, especially. I mean, it's not always, but a lot of our, a lot of the gun violence and whatnot uh, stems from narcotics. So uh, we try to buckle down on narcotics, and in exchange, it, it'll eliminate uh, crimes in general. All right. Once again, Lieutenant Clint Dempster, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Martin. Thank you for having me.